Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll be exploring how to share the axes between two or more subplots in matplotlib. Now, here I have some sample code where I will illustrate a problem that can occur when you have multiple plots on your matplotlib window. And then we're gonna explore how we can solve this problem using the matplotlib shared axes feature, all right? So let me run this code first and then we can observe the problem for ourselves. Right here is here are two graphs in matplotlib. We have uh, this sine wave and then we have a cos wave. So what is the issue? Well, the issue is that they look like they have the same domain of values. Right, you can look at them and then you can see that they have the same length. Right, they have the same length. But then when you take a closer look at the axes over here, you can see that this is from minus six to 6, meaning it has a range of 12. Over here is minus 8 to 8, which means it has a range of 16, okay? But they look visually similar. They look like they're the same. They look like they cover the same area. So that's where the problem begins. Often when you plot multiple graphs, you're comparing them in some way. So when you leave a problem like this in, then it causes issues when you're looking at it. So what we can do to resolve this issue is access one dot get shared x axes then we do dot join and then uh, access one and access two all right and we can pass in as many parameters here that you want so even if we had two like three or more we could just pass in them like you know access three and so on let me run this code now and we'll see how this has changed our graph. There we go. You can see now that the one with uh, the smaller range of values, the smaller domain, now looks smaller because now it has adjusted itself on the minus eight to eight scale. And now visually, we can easily tell that there's a difference between the two of them, all right? Now, let me just show you how uh, we can do this for the y-axis as well, because if I multiply this by two, for the first graph, now it appears vertically similar in height, but from the axes, we can clearly tell that is not the case. So what I'm going to do is repeat this process for the second, uh, for the y axis as well. All right. Now, if I run this code, we can see that the first plot it has twice the height of the second plot. So this is the benefit of sharing axes in matplotlib, and it's very useful when comparing graphs and stuff, all right? Hope you guys found this video useful. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next video.